Today we're going to be talking seven beginner tips for starting a new nutrition plan. Hey ladies, I know it's kind of that time of the year sometimes when we're thinking, gosh, I really think I want to start a new nutrition plan, but I've never done it before, I'm not really sure what to do, I'm feeling overwhelmed don't feel overwhelmed. Let's go through these steps to kind of give you an idea of what to do so you're not so stressed out. Okay, the first thing we're gonna think about um, is we want to think about eating smaller meals throughout the day. So eating smaller meals more frequently is going to keep our metabolism running high, it's always working, it's gonna keep us fuller longer, it's gonna keep your blood sugar up to where you're not kind of dropping off in midday or searching for a bagel or whatever's in the break room if you're at work. So that's a good thing to think about. So keep the portion small because it's just enough to keep you full for about three, maybe four hours, if that long. Okay, next, eat more protein. I know you hear this everywhere, especially with people who are just starting to work out, but it's really critical. So um, Athlete XX recommends you eat 0.7 grams of protein per pound of goal weight per day. So whether you're gonna get that through chicken or beef or however, uh, with beans are a good source of protein. If you're running super crazy during the day, maybe protein powder. Just as long as you're really conscientious of, gosh, did I get that? Am I making sure with every meal I'm getting enough protein in? Really think about that, that's critical. Okay, next we're going to stop calorie restriction, quick counting and measuring. Really focus on just getting really good, healthy, whole foods. So make it easy too. Just buy big bags of spinach or uh, vegetables, avocados, great for your oils. I love buying just big bags of sweet potatoes. I take these, I will bake the whole thing during the weekend, skin them, add some cinnamon. They're in the refrigerator. So when I'm ready for my meal, I just put it on the plate and I'm ready to go. Okay, so next we want to Fill your, fill your plate with half of some kind of fibrous vegetable. So not only is it good for you, you're getting your vitamins and minerals in, but it's also gonna help you with your portion control, let's say with a starchy carb that you're gonna put on your plate. So if you've already started off this way, you've reached in your bag, you've thrown your salad together, make it super easy, like I said. This is going to help you eat healthier and um, portion control with those starchier carbs and make sure you get some protein on that plate. All right, you guys, we are going to talk about the good old cheat days. So when you have that craving for sugar and you haven't had any for a week and you're just feeling ravenous, like, okay, oh my God, I know that cupcake shop is on the way home. Don't do it. The best way to curb that off is just every day, eat a little bit of, let's say, if you want to put some kind of frozen yogurt in and you just do a scoop maybe with some berries maybe just do a little bit of popcorn with some cinnamon something to every day just to kind of feed that craving so you're just not like a freak on the weekends and go crazy and you're like oh my gosh why did i do that so it's all about portion control with that just kind of watch it because it is something that's just a little bit every day just get that sweet tooth even if it's just a square of chocolate that's all you need sometimes Okay, now that we've talked a lot about the food, let's not forget about water. This is another critical piece of a diet. So if you're drinking fruit juices or any kind of diet-free soda, all of that stuff, I, I would probably say kind of take a step back from that. They're packed with calories, a lot of weird chemicals. I know water can get kind of boring, but it's great for your body because it increases your energy, it relieves fatigue, it um, flushes all the toxins from your body. It really does a lot of good things for your body and it really does help promote weight loss because if you're drinking it before you eat, it's gonna make you feel fuller longer. So just jazz it up, throw something in your water every now and then, maybe some lemon or whatever is gonna give it some flavor. Last but not least, you guys, take time to chew your food. Did you know it actually takes the hormones in your stomach to reach your head? It takes about 20 minutes for that. So if you're here just shoveling it in in about 10 minutes, you don't realize you're full and that's when you're gonna overeat. So take time just to chew your food. It's another critical piece of kind of this whole nutrition plan, keeping your body healthy. So I hope those were good tips. 
Hey, and if you want to purchase the Athlean XX 90 day program, the Athlean XX meal plan comes with it. So it makes all of this super sustainable and it makes it super easy to use. Thanks for watching today, you guys. And to check that out, uh, check out athleanxxforwomen.com. Thanks for joining me and good luck on your program.